well, there was a job we were hoping to avoid, um, which is a solution uh, for people who live aboard like we do. Um, and that is adding the bubble wrap. It came off uh, because of the storm, but we're going to have snow later. And when it gets really, really cold, there gets so much condensation on the windows. Their bubble wrap really does help uh, that particular issue. But we've got to go outside to do that. Uh, yeah, there's no way we can do that in here, girl. Uh, uh, one other thing I've just noticed. Yes. Is we've got some very strange looking things on the table. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I suppose we're always trying to upgrade or change our equipment on Salty Lass. But Bubby and I have decided that we're not quite as big a winos as these glasses <laughs> suggest. So we've got some smaller glasses. Uh, shall I let you in the secret? Yeah. Due to the perspective effects on cameras, the smaller glass looks absolutely enormous. Ah. Uh, is that better? Yeah. Right, okay, well, the, we've got a smaller glass. We've got, because we've decided that we are just not huge winos. Uh, we had some wine uh, given to us for Christmas, and we've still got quite a few bottles of that left. So, so we've just got something a bit smaller and a bit more delicate. We did film this kind of thing last time, you know. Did we? Yeah, we were putting the mullions on. Yeah, but that was mullions. It's not, it's not as cold now as it was last time. No, it's not. But it's windy. Yes. And there's a fair amount of wind chill. Yeah. And we're not planning to be out for terribly long. No. But I'm not going out there without some sort of windproof gear on. Yeah. And we're not wearing the new fancy sailing jackets either. It's the old, the old grubby ones for DIY purposes. Yes, well that's why we're going to keep the DIY ones. Yeah. So You know, the blue ones for DIY. These were under every coat and jacket we had. Well, it's because we haven't... So the V-Birth looks like a bomb's hit it. Okay, well, I'll put that in. We've got to go through here. Yeah, but I've just got to straighten this one out a bit first, haven't we? Yeah, it's a bit bent. Well, lucky it's out of here. We've got something here. Yeah, right, we, we left it underneath the sheet. And I just tied it to the winch before. Right, okay. Well, this is the other rope. Yeah. You shoot your... But when it does come down to condensation, one of the things that really has helped us is these covers. And um, under the cover, I have somewhere. It's in here, honest. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I have a camping mat just to add another layer of insulation. But you keep uh, its camping mat rather than um, camper van uh, mat because you don't want any stickiness on it. So. Uh, yeah. I mean, the bubble wrap doesn't add much. No, it doesn't. But that... it makes enough of a difference. It, it does for us because uh, I'm afraid to say um, the windows are directly above us and uh, they leak on top of me. <laughs> so I might get the odd drip on top of me. So I, it, the bubble wrap gets rid of this. But no, um, our frames, just because they're metal, get a lot of condensation. But if you have condensation pro problems, your number one friend is a dehumidifier. That's your number one friend. These are just additional things you can do. Yeah, but they stop the drips landing on the on, on the beds and on the on the bunks. Well, and the table. So that's where these help. Um, why do we have New York made out of plastic boxes? Well, as I mentioned just earlier, it is a great solution into getting the maximum amount of stuff, in our case, into our fridge, but it could also equally be our cupboards. 
But today I wanted to talk about solutions that are working for us because we wanted to share them because sometimes you get so tightly focused on a particular solution that you don't really think about other things and sometimes the other things could be better. Um, in other words, you just sometimes have to think outside the box and uh, which is quite fitting really uh, because uh, today I'm not going to be thinking outside the box, I'm actually going to be doing stuff inside the box. Uh, Beverly and I wanted to put in some extra insulation into our fridge area because we use it a lot but we can't access the outside of our fridge so we've got extra insulation inside our fridge and just because uh, we've been using a lot it has got manky. We put that insulation in about four years ago. We did and uh, because it is just camping mat it has got really manky and the reason it's got really manky is because it actually sits in water. So what we thought we wouldn't want it to do... Why does it sit in water? Because the fridge melts and then the water just drips down and it just sits in the water and it just gets really messy. So what I wanted to do was just raise it up a little bit. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think this is the right thing to raise it with, but I'm willing to give it a go. Well... This is why we think about different solutions, but if you, because we've got to cut this up, if you don't think this is the right solution... It might be the right solution, I don't know, I just don't think it's the right solution, that doesn't mean I'm right. Well, it's just that I can take it back, but if I, if you think it, I'm going to, you know, because I've got to cut it. I, I think, the reason I think it's not the right solution is I don't think it sits high enough, but maybe it will, because... It's got little feet or something on it, hasn't it? Yes, basically it's the bath mat. Um, but the thing is, it's all rubber, so it's not going to rot on me. But it's a bath mat, and they rise up just a tiny bit. And I'm hoping that tiny bit will be enough for us. Um, but I will have to cut it. Did we spend like £400 on it? No, we did not spend £400. But so, I did... in other words, if it's a disaster, we're not going to be bankrupted by it? No, we're not going to be bankrupted. Well, we can try it, can't we? But I did also buy a new, uh, a new yoga mat. I think the thing about your yoga mat is you will be surprised by just how far it doesn't go. Well, I know, because especially as uh, we've got a, a lot of insulation. I will tell you now, there are two sets of camping mats in that fridge, and they are like two metres long. Okay, well... I only bought the one yoga mat. <laughs> honest to goodness. You can see how me and Beverly just sort of try and do these things. And honest to God, it just gets ridiculous. But anyway, I'm going to cut up our yoga mat. And uh, hopefully it'll be enough. But probably not because I've just been told it won't be. Right, well, I'm going to put this upstairs in the upstairs. Can you manage? Yeah, I can manage. But I'll then go to the toilet. Too much information. <laughs> <sighs> so how's it going? Well, you're right. Um, it certainly isn't going to... Uh, one camping mat is not enough. The only thing I can say, though, is um, we've had this doubled. So I'm thinking maybe use the other mat doubled. Um, you know, the um, bath mat. Mm -hmm. Uh, underneath and just one layer. True, but we do need some of those insulation problems too. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Because we lift it up off the bottom. Yeah, maybe I don't need the two layers. But even so though, even if I did that, that would get there. That's not really going to cut it. The truth of the matter is, Gail, you've got to buy a second yoga mat. It does look that way. A lot of trial and error is happening over here, that's all I can say. But I had a template and everything, but, you know, it's just... No. It's a nightmare job. It is a nightmare job, but I'm glad we're doing it because we just need a bit more... The, the other installation have just gone beyond. How's the mega project going? Well, I've put the fridge on, but uh, I haven't trimmed everything as close as I should do because um, of the argument we had earlier in that you don't think it's the right solution so I haven't trimmed the mat 
It wasn't an argument, it was a discussion. Well, whatever, the discussion. That's that's the level of arguments on here. But um, basically, if Beverly thinks that this isn't going to work, then she's at least got the mat to trim it and do something different. Whereas if I trimmed it perfectly now, then she hasn't got that option um, because it is a bit of an experiment. But that's what... When you have to think outside the box, you have to experiment. Yeah, but you're thinking inside the box. Sounds like an excuse for a bit of slop. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> With the fridges like this, um, we've actually uh, measured the temperature. And um, when the fridge is uh, running, we can have anything up to about, say, minus five at the bottom of the fridge. Whereas at the top of the fridge... Uh, it's three degrees so when you're putting your various things into your fridge make sure your meats and things like that are right at the bottom then have your cooked meats and then have things like uh, your chocolates and your cheeses a bit higher up you see the, the cold air coming off the cold plate goes straight to the bottom of the fridge it does that's where it's the coldest and being heavier it stays there it certainly does but it's just how you stack your boxes well um this episode is about some of the solutions that we've um created to live our board but some of them can be used by anybody. Like, look at this great kitchen roll holder. Oh. I know I know one YouTuber who is mortally offended by that and regularly comments in the comments section that we need to get something better. It's perfect. It is a tube with a bit of string through it, but it does the job. <laughs> Although, I, actually, why do we not have something better? Well, I did have something better here, but the problem is when these uh, open, it actually, you know, the tissue didn't get out of the way and it just popped out all over the place and there's nowhere to really put it. So this is my solution. I personally like it, but I also love our under the cabinet lighting and all I have for that is a little inline switch which i'm using as um you know i've actually screwed it to the bulkhead You're using it as an inline switch i am using it as an inline switch but i'm actually using it as a permanent switch as well because i just screwed it to the bulkhead but they are just absolutely perfect but while i'm talking about lighting um i love this all it is is a power pack and then an extra long uh, lighting just so that I've got lighting where I need it and we also have lighting on our laptops which is very similar just to light the keyboard but there's all sorts of solutions I personally love the fact that I um it's the name tags and I just use these uh, to hang our tea towels up or our towels up but it just means I'm using a little salty lass adaptation but my favourite one thinking about tea towels is one of our subscribers sent us a new tea towel now I love it so much that I'm not actually using it as a tea towel I'm using it as a backrest but that's just salty lass we like to use things and if we can we will make maybe something a bit different but we do use all the gifts and things that people have sent us because we love them <laughs>